We're going to pivot now and go live to Tel Aviv, where the Israeli government spokesperson Elon Levy is speaking. Let's listen to international institutions about the barbaric sexual abuse of Israeli women and girls, and that deliberate silence is complicity. Today at 11.30 Eastern Time, Israel's UN mission will host an event exposing the horrors of Hamas's sex crimes, an event together with Sheryl Sandberg and Secretary Clinton, who has pre-recorded a message. We are demanding clear and unequivocal condemnations of these sexual atrocities, uh, unequivocal condemnations by the UN and international community. Israel will dismantle the Hamas rapist regime so that it can never offend, and we will bring every last Hamas sex criminal to justice. Now, an operational update following Hamas's violation of the pause on December 1st and resumption of hostilities. The IDF is continuing its targeted strikes against Hamas terror assets, including Hamas military targets embedded under civilian facilities in flagrant violation of international humanitarian law. The Israeli Air Force has conducted strikes on approximately 200 Hamas terror targets, including infrastructure in a school in Beit Hanun, which was used to attack our forces. Troops discovered two tunnel shafts and explosives in that school compound, not regular facilities you would expect to find in an ordinary school. The IDF's precision campaign continues to target the perpetrators of the October 7th massacre, taking out Haitham Kouajari, the commander of the Hamas Shati Battalion. A senior terrorist Kouajari had commanded Hamas death squads during the October 7th massacre and secured Hamas terror activity in the Shifa hospital. Uh, an abuse of a protected humanitarian institution the World Health Organization and Red Cross are yet to condemn, scandalously. We will bring all the October 7th monsters to justice and everyone else as part of the Hamas terror regime threatening another October 7th. As the IDF expands its operations into southern Gaza to dismantle the Hamas terror state, it is intensifying efforts to minimize harm to civilians, despite Hamas's best efforts to maximize them. We are working to thwart Hamas's sick strategy of using civilians as human shields to sacrifice their words, sacrifice them to advance their genocidal agenda against the Israeli people. The IDF takes extremely seriously its obligations under international law and the need for precision, hence the publication of a map dividing Gaza into precise areas to facilitate evacuations of civilians in the most precise way possible from areas of Hamas military operations deliberately and cynically endangering them. I believe these efforts are in fact unprecedented in the history of counter-terror operations in urban areas to keep the other side's civilians safe from their own leaders, unprecedented in the, the history of counter-terrorism operations, uh, and if we are mistaken, we will gladly have the record corrected. IDF forces continue to engage Hamas terrorists in battle, thwarting imminent attacks against our forces, striking weapons silos and Hamas military compounds. IDF forces have almost totally dismantled two Hamas brigades in northern Gaza in intense fighting and we are working to dismantle the Hamas terror machine in the southern Gaza Strip too. A brief update from the northern border. Overnight and today, mortar shells from Lebanon toward IDF posts were fired in the area of Shtula and Yiftach. Three IDF soldiers were likely injured and evacuated for medical treatment. The IDF has struck the sources of the fire. The State of Israel continues to focus on the campaign to dismantle the Hamas terror state in Gaza, and the State of Israel remains committed to achieving the three principal goals of this war that Hamas declared with the October 7th massacre, securing the release of all the hostages, no one left behind, eliminating Hamas's reign of terror, and permanently removing the threat to Israel's citizens from the Gaza Strip, which we as a country have endured and tolerated for far too long. Long. That's the end of today's update. We'll now take your questions over the uh, chat. If you have questions, you could just write down, please, your um, name and uh, media affiliations. We'll start with people in the room. Yes, sir. Yes.
We are going to come away from that press conference. Sounds like a very long question being asked, and uh, we'll continue to monitor it and bring you any headlines if they come from the q and A. I I mean, the headline there from what uh, the, uh, Elon Levy, the spokesperson for the Israel government, was saying is that uh, they uh, believe they're taking unprecedented efforts in terms of trying to protect civilians in Gaza. Uh, he continued to use the term that their attacks are targeted, uh, and he did say that they had uh, eradicated one of the commanders of a Hamas battalion uh, in recent days as evidence of that targeted um, approach.